that kind of sound just makes me want to overbend every single note. Yeah, that, that was... <laughs> Too much fun. That sounded sick. <laughs> Hey guys, Ross Campbell from 42 Gear Street number two. Uh, I am here today with Jackson from Dip Switch Demos. Hey, up, mate, yeah. Uh, we just met a couple of days ago. It's been uh, a great experience so far. Oh, it's been mass. A couple of days just meeting, well, I guess there's 14 of us, 14 YouTubers. Yeah. yeah. And then we've got like four representatives from, uh, I think, 30 different guitar amp and pedal brands. And so the topic of today's video um, is one that I really wanted to do with Jackson because he's a bit of a fuzz fanatic. Yeah, yeah. I said to you yesterday, if I had a pedal board full of fuzz pedals, I'm happy. Right. Yeah. Whereas I have not owned a fuzz pedal since uh, I think I was in my first band ever when I was like 10 years old and I had an Electro Harmonics Little Big Muff. Oh, wait, oh, so yeah. that was like the only fuzz pedal I've ever owned in my life. Um, and I've been wanting to get back into fuzz for a number of years now, but I just don't really know where to start. But fortunately, uh, Beatronics is one of the brands that's here um, at 42 Gear it's Street. It's a pretty amazing place to start as well. Uh, we're going to cover a lot of ground with some fuzz pedals, I think, right now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, we've got some mad stuff going on. A couple of octave fuzzers, and then we've got the Royal Jelly, which is a hybrid overdrive fuzz, but can get pretty nasty as well. Yeah. yeah. So there's a lot of filth on this board. Um, we're not gonna uh, look at any of these pedals because from what I understand, they are more sort of in the overdrive territory. Yeah, but overdrive boost sort of things. Yeah. yeah. Some weird stuff as and well. And then but. this is pretty damn weird. Uh, I wanna try that out in a separate video. But yeah. uh, basically we're gonna be looking at this red one, the Walk to Hell, the Octahide and the Royal Jelly. So I guess we'll just start with the Walk to Hell and then yeah. like I'll do a bit of playing. You can- I'll fiddle about a bit, and yeah. And yeah, we'll let me know that. what you what you're liking and what you're not liking. Cool. Yeah, let's do it. Let's um, roll it. Right, really quickly about guitars. I'm using this Maybach. Um, I'm actually not sure what the model name is. A, a lot of these brands I've never heard of, but these are really really nice guitars. It's got a really chunky, thick neck on it. Uh, beautiful sounding P90s. We're going into a Tone King Imperial with a bit of reverb coming from the amp. Uh, Jackson, you're using the Nick Huber. Yeah, Orca. I've got a Nick Huber um, again. I don't know what the model name is. Do you know what the model name is? Uh, Orca, Orca 59. Yeah, Orca. Yeah, we all um, keep coming back to this guitar. Yeah, it's pretty hard to put down. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty. It's a beautiful axe. Check yeah, it out. Look at that. Yeah, oh, that's crazy, man. man. Check it out. Um, so, similar guitars, but I think uh, the different pickups will kind of show you show you what we've got going on. Yeah. So, uh, here's, my, here's my dry signal. So we're breaking up a little bit, which is always good for fuzz. Yeah, yeah, much, I yeah. wanted to do a yeah, mildly over, yeah. overdriven amp. interesting thing about this pedal is it's an octave fuzz but the octave is uh, that of a sub octave not uh, an, a higher octave it's, which is usually what you get with yeah when you think of like yeah octave exactly fuzz. I think this is probably a bit of a riff machine yeah. it's really analog as well which is uh, you kind of it's it's not like a pog octave you know which tracks super well uh, which is kind of more digital this is proper analog it's gonna be filthy it's gonna mess up but it still tracks pretty fast but yeah it's gonna waver on that Octave note. It's yeah. kind of something that you've really got to play with. Um, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And that little switch there, this toggle switch, is switching between one octave blow and two octave blows. Yeah, yeah. So. Do we have a mess around with that? A, yeah. Do you, do you want to play in? And I'll yeah, just man. mess around. I think so. We've got just the bypass switch, um, and then this engages the sub octave, and you, like, like you just yeah. said, minus one, minus two, and then this is the amount of octa octave. So we'll start fairly low. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
in there and nothing. It's like pretty normal sounding. Yeah, like, as you blend as you, it in. As soon as you blend it in. The gain, no. uh, yeah, I believe this is the gain for the, the fuzz. So, when you just keep playing, I don't yeah. know. hard to get a sound out of it at first, wasn't it? Yeah, really? yeah. Um, but after we tweaked with it, literally for like two minutes, we've got such a sick sound out of that. Yeah. That's incredible. I'm already very pleased with that sound. But, <laughs> uh, we haven't got them, uh, the, well, we haven't got as much time as we would like in this room, so let's move on to the octa hive, which is yeah. going to be a higher octave. I guess a more traditional, yeah, late, yeah, yeah. late 60s octave Yeah, first. man, we've all heard one of these before. Uh, so, so such a cool sound and so classic. I think uh, we'll obviously we'll have a mess around with it, but really the upper octave comes up when you neck pick up, tenth, twelfth yeah. fret yeah. sort of situation. A bit like what we were just doing with the mm -hmm. down uh, lower octave. Um, yeah, I suppose we'll just give it a go. Sweet. Do you want to play again and I'll sure. twiddle? Yeah. So dry, dry signal. <laughs> Pick up twelfth fret. One of the cool things about this one in particular is we have control over the pre-gain, the pre like the okay. volume of the sound going into the pedal. So that is that sound that we just got there is the actual gain of the pedal all the way down. Right. But the pre maxed. Ah. So I it's see. really filthy and it just sounds great. I mean, we could switch that over. We could run the gain up higher and the uh, input yeah. a bit lower. Let's see what that sounds like. So yeah. <laughs> Sound just makes me want to overbend every single note. Yeah, that, that was <laughs> too much fun. That sounded sick. <laughs> oh, mate. And on the side here, we have we can switch the octave off, off if you want, so it's more like oh, traditional okay, yeah, yeah. I bet, uh, I bet this is going to clean up really nicely as yeah. well, so if you oh, yeah, yeah. off. Keep the volume down and it'll be like a ring mod sort of thing. Oh, cool. 
That's a ring mod that I could actually use. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Why don't you have a playthrough of it and I'll yeah, adjust man. for you. Um, so, pre-game, and then this is just actual gain. Yeah, so actual yeah. gain of the pedal. the neck pickup doesn't it it kind of yeah. comes to life i mean it's, it's really filthy on the bridge but it just thickens up on the neck pickups doesn't it what yeah, yeah i absolutely agree <laughs> like what i'm also just noticing there is that you had like your volume just got kind of like that yeah and it's not even that noisy no nah. despite how like filthy yeah. it sounds yeah exactly yeah it, it almost kind of sounds gated in a way yeah it's really velcro like isn't it it's yeah sounds that's like a great ripped way of velcro it. apart yeah. yeah cool that that's my favorite so far Right, okay, so yeah, that's we've had this, the Walk to Hell, the Walk to Hive. Now we have the Royal Jelly, um, which as you can see is a bit more complex. Yeah. Uh, I believe, uh, well this is an overdrive and a fuzz pedal. And you can bl blend between the two. Yeah, so yeah. if you, s and there's two identical channels, so I guess it's kind of like you can switch between different presets. You could set one for more of an overdrive, uh, one for more yeah. of a fuzz sound. I guess that's the idea, yeah. Yeah. And then we have a middle switch, which kind of pushes everything over the edge, I imagine. Yeah. Um, Did he call it a buzz switch? A buzz he switch says, yeah, it has mix, a yeah. buzz to the fuzz. Yeah. So it gives it a bit There's of a lot of B right stuff going on here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, which is cool. Cool. So Should let's, we give it a go? Uh, yeah. Well, we just set everything to like normal, yeah. a couple of like low and high EQs and stuff. Yeah. Uh, we'll just start with the pure overdrive, I think. And then we have like a master gain in the middle. Sweet. <laughs> It's really good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks, Tom. Uh, cool. Yeah, so then I was just gradually kind of increasing blending between the overdrive and the fuzz. And it really, once you get past like two o'clock, it really starts to take over. Yeah. What I didn't notice is we've got a dry blend as well. Yeah. So I guess that's obviously it's good for guitar as well, but bass players get your clean signal, mm -hmm. still retain some of that low end. Um, yeah, that's sweet. Do you want to have a get, quick go with the overdrive again? Sure. Kind of Let's nice do that. Fellas. Yeah. Thank you.
up nice. Yeah. That's, I guess this is more of a, a bit more of a less specific fuzz than the other two. The mm -hmm. other two is very obviously crazy fuzz pedal. Yeah. Um, this is, I can imagine this on pretty much anyone's pedal board because we've got the blend between overdrive and fuzz, but also that clean blend really brings a bit more clarity back into the sound. Yeah, I think uh, for those reasons it might be a good starting point for me as someone yeah. who's oh, kind yeah. of afraid of fuzz. I was just going to say it's a great introduction to fuzz because you still got the overdrive if you get out your comfort zone yeah, i suppose yeah that's true i can retreat yeah. to the overdrive um where i feel safe and how good does it look as well how good I do know. they all look yeah they all look like they're built like tanks so yeah, um yeah why don't we hear you play through the royal jelly yeah man you I'll, have to fill around some controls uh, it's been a long time since i've played a uh, guitar with four knobs i'm like right, turning everything yeah. up <laughs> Plenty of sustain, and it actually, yeah. you get when things are like maxed out like that, you do get a little sub octave sound going on underneath, yeah. um, and that's kind of common with a lot of fuzz pedals. But that's that's a lot of fun. Sweet. Well, what are you thinking? I mean, <laughs> I want them all. Well, um, yeah, but it's probably yeah. I mean, it would probably be a smart idea to begin with this one. I actually think my favorite sounds were out of this. Okay, cool. But I think for what I do, this would probably be the most appropriate choice. I think you sounded the best on the Octave. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, well, which is weird. Then. All three. Yeah. Let's have all three. <laughs> Sweet, man. Well, that's... Uh, well, yeah. I'm, awesome. I'm back into fuzz again. Yeah. I want them all now. Cool. I think I've done my job well then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You've inspired me, definitely. Awesome. Um, yeah, thank you to Btronics for sponsoring this event as well. And Absolutely. Putting yeah. together this amazing little board for us. And... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thanks to Lee for operating the cameras and, and Jack, who's operating this moving camera. Um, awesome. Thanks for having me on your video as well, man. Absolute pleasure. Likewise, man. Awesome. Great to have you. So uh, I'm, I'm sure we'll do a few more in the coming days. Yeah, we got some time. Yeah, we got yeah, some time. We definitely do. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, saying goodbye from 42 Gear Street number two and expect to see lots more content yeah. coming up in the next few days. Have a good one. Cheers.